Turkey is great. On this Knife Battle Turkey edition, we're gonna find out that a Sujihiki is probably the best knife for carving a turkey. But if you're just adding to your Japanese knife collection, you might not have one of these yet. So I got a whole stack of other ones to try, see how they go and see if we can make them work. Hi, I'm Mike from Knifeware. Whether you're the go-to person for Christmas and Thanksgiving dinners in the family, or you just like roasting a whole bird, today on the kitchen knife battle, we are going to cut up a turkey, see what the best knife is. I'm gonna show you how to use all sorts of different knives to carve a turkey. Give you a couple tips, and if you really wanna watch a great video on how to carve a turkey, check out this video here. This knife is called a sujihiki. Literally, it translates into flesh slicer. Often, this is the best knife for slicing meat. It's long, it's thin, you can get nice slices that don't have the jagged ridges on it from shaking it back and forth. Really an awesome knife. I also have this knife here, it's called a Honosuke. This is a poultry knife. It's literally designed for deboning birds, but you can make it work for carving too. Since this Honosuke is designed for taking apart birds, we're gonna use it here to take apart this leg. It's got a nice, length of blade, it's got a nice tall heel so you can drive it through the joints, but it's also got a nice point so you can get through it. I always like to pop the leg off here. Oh, we got some skin tied around it, like a jersey pull. So I'm just gonna drop the knife in here, wiggle it around, nice fine tip allows it to turn a bunch around these corners. Great, trying to get the oyster meat out there too. Boom, turkey leg. I can slide the knife back and forth to, to make little slices with this Honosuke. But once I get to this big breast meat here, it's, it's not gonna be as awesome. So let's get something a little longer and see how it goes. All right, so first I'm gonna take a couple slices off this turkey breast here, just with this long slicer, and see how it goes. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. Nice and smooth. I got a nice smooth slice here. Doesn't shred the meat. It's really good. We kind of know that's gonna be a good knife for doing that, but let's see how we can make these work. First, I'm gonna start with this Nakiri. Let's try a Nakiri. I mean, it's not too bad. I do have to do the back and forth movement a little bit. And it, it doesn't really have that tip, like down in the corner here when you've got something pointy. This Santoku is gonna be good, but you, you can see I can't really get a whole slice of the breast, but I do have this tip so I can detach it as it comes around to the bottom. All right, so Nakiri, you can make it work. Santoku is a little better, but really where they fall short is that they're just too short. Same with this Hanasuki. I'll always have a Hanasuki around when I'm taking apart a bird. It's a little short, just like the Nakiri and the Santoku. So let's get a little bit longer here. This is a knife that people ought to have. This is a 210 millimeter Gyuto. This is a chef's knife. You can make this do practically everything. So let's see how it goes here, slicing up this turkey. Ooh, wow, that's pretty good. I'm able to get a nice big slice here. And it's sliding through pretty beautifully. I mean, that's doing a great job, but let's give this slicer, it's a little bit longer here, 240 millimeters. And this would be a carving knife or a sujihiki, as they're called in Japanese terminology, is great for cutting steaks, for cutting anything big, peeling a watermelon. We even tried using it to peel a squash and it worked out really well. But Let's slice this turkey. Yeah, that's the best, hey? Nice, big, beautiful slice. And you see I don't have a whole bunch of ridges in here. Nice and smooth cut. It's nice, you can see, even if this turkey is a little bit dry, when you've got a nice uh, smooth edge, you're not gonna be shredding the meat as much either. So we've got another two knives here that are a little bit more specialty knives that are designed for other purpose. But let's go out onto the margins here and see what we can make these knives do. If fine, first I'll use the bread knife. This just makes me think of the terrible experience of watching someone carve a turkey with an electric knife. But these teeth are gonna start shredding this turkey. And you can see how rough that texture is there. That's just gonna taste like someone's chewed your food once already. Not ideal. Now I think if you are just starting off on your knife collection, you're probably better off using something shorter with a smooth edge than something long with a serrated edge. But now we're gonna try this guy. This is called a Yanagiba. This is what they use for slicing raw fish to make sashimi. 
It's not too bad. Kind of like the slicer, it's long and slender, but because of the way the edge is profiled, it's difficult to get it, the cut started. So I almost have to angle in and then angle out. It's a little bit overkill, but if I had a choice between, say, a Nakiri and a Yanagiba, I would go with the Yanagiba, and I would go with the Yanagiba over the bread knife any day. Let's just tie this together here. But I think, yeah, I can get nice thin slice. It's nice and easy. I got a lot of control here. As you see, I've run into a bone at the bottom, so I just turn the edge out a little bit. One thing you might find when you're taking apart your turkey is you'll run into this wishbone up here, and you can snag the tip of your knife. Sometimes people will even chip their knife on there. What I find is to go in with my Honosuke, find the line where the bone is, and then take it out. You can just cut down until you run into it. Deboning the wishbone is a bit of a trick. The best thing to do, frankly, is to take it out before you cook the turkey. That's a great tip if you want to have a really nicely carved turkey, especially if you're concerned about the edge of your knife. It's a lot easier to take it out when it's raw. Okay, so the sujihiki is clearly the best knife for slicing up the turkey breast. I'm gonna take the rest of the breast meat off and carve it up, but when we come back, we'll take a leg apart and show you how to do that. See what the best knife for the job is. Now, you can go at the leg like you're in medieval times and you're just gonna eat it like you're the tough guy that you are, or maybe you wanna cut it apart, and it's pretty easy to do that. A Honosuke is a great knife. It's almost designed for this job. Not almost, it totally is designed for this job. So I just take my finger and I find where the knuckle is right there. Find where the joint is. And then I can just take the heel of the knife and put it right there. It goes right through. It's easier to cut through, especially when it's been cooked and when it's raw. But you can see if it's raw, there's a, a line of fat that you can drive the knife right through and it will easily cut through and separate the leg from the thigh. Now I've got the thigh bone that runs along the side here. I just cut one side of it to free it up. Cut down the other side. And when I get to the knuckle here, I pick it up a little bit and run down the top of the bone, run down the other side of the bone, freedom. I'm gonna save that, that's definitely going in my stock. So now I've got the thigh. It's just gonna, it's pretty well cooked, so that skin's a little sloppy, so I'm gonna take that off. Again, put that in the stock. And then you can also, you can just almost tear it into its little muscle groups. This way you're not shredding it as much. And if it's a little bit big, you can just chop it in smaller pieces. There you go. There's a turkey leg taken apart for you. Now, in the drumstick, you've got some real tough sinewy bits. I like to get in there a little bit first and see if I can take them and pull them out. So I'll take the knife here and put the back of it down. Sometimes a little bit of paper towel helps with the grip here. And you can just pull these ligaments out. There we go. So these are these really tough tendons that are in the turkey uh, drumstick here. You don't really want to chew on them. They don't taste very good. Uh, they're real, you know, kind of like fish bone in the throat. So we don't really want those in there. So sometimes a couple get left in, but at least you're reducing it. Turkey leg and the thigh. I like to just chunk it apart as opposed to carving it. Nice whole pieces. Cut it into a little bit slightly smaller bits. There you are. Now that job was made super easy doing it with this Honosuke, but frankly, I think this is a job you could do with pretty much every knife. A Nakiri might not be the best without the tip, that fine pointed tip, but you'd make it work, it'd be fine. You could definitely take apart a chicken thigh or a turkey thigh with practically any knife. Recap, basically the best knife for carving something is this Tsujihiki, and the turkey is no, no exception here. Now, if you're just starting out in your knife collection, you might not be starting off with this carving knife or the sujihiki as we call it. That's fine. I mean, I definitely think this is a thing to add to any knife collection, whether you cut meat or not. This knife is super handy for bigger jobs. If you are starting out, you might have just grabbed yourself something simple like a Santoku, which is a really great, smaller, all-purpose kitchen knife, or you may be the home to a beautiful Guto. This is a chef's knife, all-purpose knife, like the Santoku, typically larger. Both of these knives are gonna work for taking apart a turkey. Longer is gonna work a little bit better. And if you really wanna throw something in there that's uh, a big help, one of these Honosukis is gonna do a great job taking it apart, breaking it down to smaller, more manageable pieces. This is also a great knife for deboning chicken. And when you've got a smaller roast chicken, you can use this knife just for carving it. I've done it a few times, 
works really well. But you can use this knife for a lot of things more than just cutting up a chicken. All right, so if you're thinking about adding more knives to your collection, and definitely if you're one of those carnivores, you want to get a Tsujihiki. Anywhere from 240 millimeters to 300 millimeters for really big stuff. I like them in and around the 270 millimeter range. I mean, it's a big knife, but when you've got a big job to do, a big knife will really help you out. And if you want to avoid getting turkey all over yourself before you go and have dinner with people, get a nice apron. Medium rare aprons are great. I think this is about the best apron going. Look, it doesn't wrap around the back of my neck. It doesn't feel terrible when I wear it. I really like this thing. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. That was the knife battle, the turkey edition. If you wanna watch another video about specific skills, two different ways of carving a turkey, in fact, check out this video I've done before. This is the turkey video. This is my ASMR turkey video. Do you like turkey? Do you like videos? Here's a turkey.